हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट इज प्रिमेटिव पॉलिनोमियल व्हाट इज गैलोस फील्ड व्हाट इज मिनिमल पॉलिनोमियल हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द मिनिमल पॉलिनोमियल्स फ्रॉम वेरियस गैलोस गैलोस फील्ड एलिमेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी व्हाट इज बीसीएच कोड एंड द एनकोडिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ बीसीएच कोड सो फर्स्ट लेट्स सी व्हाट इज बीसीएच कोड एज आई टोल्ड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर बीसीएच कोड फॉर्म्स अ लार्ज क्लास ऑफ पावरफुल एरर करेक्टिंग साइक्लिक कोड So these are nothing but the error correcting cyclic codes. There are two types of BCH codes: binary BCH code and non-binary BCH codes. So binary type we are going to study in this lecture. The non-binary BCH codes are known as RS codes. RS the full form is Reed-Solomon codes. So this RS code encoding process and decoding process we are going to study in the further lectures. BCH code is also called as T error correcting BCH code. next so let us see uh, how to calculate the generator polynomial g of x is equals to lcm of m1x m2x up to m2tc minus 1 of x what is degree how to calculate the degree of generator polynomial that is given as r is equals to n minus k remember this next so these are the steps to construct a binary bch code so just pause the video and note down the steps to construct the binary bch code so first step code length n given as the code length n and the error uh, correcting capability is given in the question note it down find out m from the formula log to the base to n plus 1 you can find out n also that is 2 raised to m minus 1 find out k k is equals to n minus mtc remember this then write down the primitive polynomial for degree m then write down the construct the finite field gf of 2 raised to m using primitive polynomial p of x find the minimal polynomial of each element of gf of 2 raised to m this we have find out in the previous lecture okay next find g of x is equal to the generator polynomial is calculated as lcm of m1x into m3x into m5x for this type remember this for this type the formula to calculate generator polynomial g of x is lcm of m1x into m3x into m5x up to m2tc minus 1 of x then last step is to calculate the bch code that is code word so code words are of two types we know that side systematic code and non systematic code we have learned this in the previous unit for systematic code we know the formula c of x is equals to d of x into g of x and for non systematic code we know the formula c of x is equals to x raised to n minus k d of x plus remainder x raised to n minus k d of x into g of x so these are the steps to calculate the binary bch code so let us see the numericals okay so the first numerical is find generator polynomial of double error correcting bch code over gf of 2 raised to 4 so in this numerical we are going to find out the generator polynomial only okay see what they have given for double error correcting bch code from this can you write down tc yes error correct double error correcting means tc will be equals to 2 then gf of 2 raised to 4 they have given so from this can you calculate value of m yes m is equals to 4 next you know the formula of n as i told you in the previous slide n is equals to 2 raised to m minus 1 you can find out the value of n then you will find out the value of k n minus k is equals to mtc so find out the value of k find out the value of d min we know that d min is equals to 2tc plus 1 that is 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 5 so at first you have to calculate all this values tc m n n minus k that is k d min and etc next we know next step is to calculate the primitive polynomial so we know the primitive polynomial for degree 4 according to the table okay just refer my previous lecture according to the table the primitive polynomial of degree 4 is given as x raised to 4 plus x plus 1 then we know the generator polynomial or generator polynomial formula g of x is equals to lcm of m1x into m3x up to m2tc minus 1 of x 
So M two T C minus one of X will be T C is equals to two. The so substitute value of two here two into two four minus one M three of X. So instead of taking two times M three of X, since it is L C M, we can take only once the value of M three of X. So M one X into M three X. So M one and M three X. These are nothing but the primitive polynomials for uh, Galois field elements. Okay. So for G F of two is to four. M one x will be x plus two four plus x plus one. Remember the table of minimal polynomials. Sorry, this will be minimal polynomials m one x and m three x. So refer the table of minimal polynomial for g of two raised to four. So for m one x, the minimal polynomial is x raised to four plus x plus one, and for m three x, the minimal polynomial is x raised to four plus x cube plus x square plus x plus one from table one that I have given you in the previous lecture. So after multiplying both the brackets, the same terms will get cancelled out, and what you will get the g of g of x is equals to x x to eight plus x plus to seven plus x plus to six plus x plus to four plus one. So if you cross check the degree of generator polynomial, we know the formula degree is given as n minus k. So what is the value of n? Fifteen minus seven. So degree is equals to eight. So g of x will be the X plus two eight plus X plus two seven plus X plus two six plus X plus two four plus one. So this is my final answer. Okay. Let us see the second numerical. Okay. So in this numerical, we are going to exactly design the BCH code. The steps which I have given you in the previous slides, those steps we are going to refer here. Just cross check the steps while solving the numerical. Design a BCH code with block length n is equals to seven. So they have given you value of n and error correcting capability TC. So there are there are two values of TC one and two. Okay, so there will be two different code words. Find the code words corresponding to following messages. So they have given you the D messages also one zero one one for TC equals to one and for TC equals to two D equals to zero and D equals to one. So given first step. Just refer the steps which uh, I have shown you in the previous slides. So in the first step, what we are going to do, we are going to write down the value of n seven. T C is equals to one and two as they have given it. Then step two. Step two is to calculate the value of m. So we have the formula log to the base two n plus one. So m is equals to log to the base two eight. So I will get m equals to three. Step three is to calculate the value of k. So k is given as n minus k. You can refer this also. I will go to this step directly. N minus k is equal to m t c. So seven minus k is equal to m is three. Three into one t c is one for t c one. So k equals to four. Then for uh, t c two, calculate value of k. It is equal to one. Then so in the first three steps, we are going to calculate the various values. N t c it is already given. M and K. Okay. Then step four. Step four is nothing but to take the primitive polynomial of degree m. So as we have find out the value of m is equals to three. So we know the primitive polynomial of m, that is degree three, is x cube plus x plus one. So note down that primitive polynomial. Next step. Step five. Step five is to construct G F field, G F of two raised to three using primitive polynomials. So we just substitute the value of x as alpha, alpha cube plus alpha plus one equals to zero. So from this we'll calculate the value of alpha cube, that is alpha plus one, alpha raised to four, alpha squared plus alpha. I have shown you how to calculate these values in the previous lecture. Alpha raised to five is equal to alpha squared plus alpha plus one. Alpha raised to six is equal to alpha squared plus one. Step six. So in step five we are just going to note down the G F field elements. Next, uh, step six is to calculate the primitive, sorry, minimum polynomial, minimal polynomial of each element. So as it is g f of two raised to three, there are eight different elements. So for each element, you have to note down the minimal polynomial. So you can just refer the previous table also of minimal polynomial, and you can write down the values directly. Minimal polynomial of zero is x. Minimal polynomial of one is x plus one. Minimal polynomial of alpha, alpha square, and alpha is to four is same. That is x cube plus x plus one. 
minimal polynomial of alpha cube, alpha phi, and alpha 6 is same. That is x cube plus x square plus 1. So in step 6, we are just going to find out the minimal polynomial. Next. Step 7. Find the generator polynomial. Now we will come to the generator polynomial and code words. So in the step 6, we are going to find out the generator polynomial. That is, we know the formula g of x is equals to LCM of m1x, m3x, m5x up to m2tc minus 1 of x. This is the basic formula to calculate the generator polynomial. Then there will be two generator polynomials and two code words. Since there are two values of tc. So for tc equals to 1, g of x can be given as LCM of m1x. Next, substitute the value of tc here first. TC is equals to 1. So 2 into 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. So M1 of X. So no need to write down M3 and M5. So M1 of X will go up to only M1 of X only. So M1 of X into M1 of X. So LCM of this, you can write down only once M1 of X. So we have the value of M1 of X that is X cube plus X plus 1. So G of X equals to X cube plus X plus 1. Next. So for TC equals to 1, they have given you the message also 1011. So can you write down d of x from this? Yes. x cube plus x plus 1. So from d you can write down the d of x. Now we will come to the code word part. That is our step number 8. Right. So c of x is equal to d of x into g of x. This part, this part is for systematic code. Okay. Uh, d of x into g of x. So this part is to calculate for non-systematic code word. So c of x is equals to d of x into g of x. So we have the value of d of x, x cube plus x plus 1. Into g of x we have the same polynomial x cube plus x plus 1. So multiplying both the polynomials I will get x x to 6, x plus x square plus 1. So from this can you write down the code word? Yes, code word will be a 8 digit code word, right? So x raised to 6, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So you can write down the code word. Now, for systematic code, we have the formula c of x is equal to x to n minus k d of x plus remainder and this term, right? So this term will be obtained by doing division. So this term first write down x to 7 minus 4 n minus k is 7, k is 4. So 7 minus 4 x cube plus x plus 1 d of x plus this term as it is. So after solving, I will get x raised to 6 plus x raised to 4 plus x cube plus this term as it is. So let us find the second term by doing division. So dividing this term by d, g of x. So we have x raised to n minus k d of x as x raised to 6 plus x plus to 4 plus x cube divided by x cube plus x plus 1. So after division, I will get 0. So remainder, is, remainder value is 0. So just add this 0. In this polynomial, next, yes, c of x is equal to x raised to 6 plus x raised to 4 plus x cube plus 0. So, what code word I'll get? 1, 0, 1, 1, and next 3, 0. So, this is my code word for tc is equal to 1. So, for tc equals to 2, use the same steps and calculate for tc equals to 2. Similarly, g of x will be c. LCM of, LCM of M1X, M3X up to M2TC minus 1. Now TC is equal to 2. 2 into 2, 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So M, M, LCM will vary from M1X and M3X. Right? So multiplying both the polynomials of M1X and M3X, I will get the value of G of X. That is this polynomial. Then again for, they have given you again two data messages. Right? So d equals to 0 and d equals to 1. For d equals to 0, d of x will be equals to 0. And c of x will obviously 0 for non-systematic code. Right? Again, here d of x into g of x. We have d of x equals to 1 and g of x write down as it is. So c will be equals to 1, 1, 1. Code words. This is for non-systematic type. For systematic type, we have this formula. Okay, for systematic type, the code word for d equals to 0 will be 0 itself. For this, d equals to 1, we will get c of x is equals to, substitute this formula, x cube into 1. So, x cube only, 
say of x will be only x cube so i'll get 0 0 0 1 triple 0 so in this way we have generated the bch codes let us go to the next example okay this is a different kind of numerical let us go through that so understood the previous uh, numerical so just follow the steps I have given you in the first slide itself. Uh, so just note down the steps and solve the numerical. You will get the answer. Okay, next. Uh, C. Design a BCH code with block length n equals to 15 and error correcting capability Tc equals to 1, 2, 3. So you have the value of n equals to 15, Tc equals to 1. So calculate the value of m that is equals to 4. Then calculate the value of k by using this formula k equals to 11. Next, for fourth step, for m equals to 4, what will be the primitive polynomial? Note down the primitive polynomial. For m equals to 4, we have x raised to 4 plus x raised to 1 plus 1. Now again, note down the gf of 2 raised to 4 elements. Right? So the elements will be. 0, 1, alpha square, alpha cube, alpha raised to 4 is alpha plus 1, alpha raised to 5 is alpha square plus alpha. So these values you will get in the table itself. So if you know the table, you can calculate, write down these values directly. Next, find minimal polynomial of each element. So refer the table previously of minimal polynomial for gf of 2 raised to 4. Okay? And you can note down the minimal polynomials. Or you can draw the table here itself in the numerical. Then next, generator polynomial, g of x will be. LCM of m1x dot m3x up to m5 up to m2tc minus 1 of x. So tc equals to 1. So the LCM will be equals to, for tc equals to 1, you will get only m1 of x. So we have the minimal polynomial as x plus 4 plus x plus 1. Hence, generate it will generate that the generator polynomial will generate n comma k that is 15 comma 11 bch code. So this was for t c equals to 1. Similarly, you can calculate for t c equals to 2 and t c equals to 3. t c equals to 2, LCM of m1x and m3x. Multiplying the new, um, both the polynomials. So, m3x, according to the table of minimal polynomial, I have written the value of m3x. Multiplying, you will get n minus k equals to 8. That is, the degree is 8. Okay, so, g of x will be this. This will generate n comma k and this 15 k is 7, 15 comma 7 this is cyclic code. Similarly calculate the generator polynomial for t c equals to 3. So m1x, m3x and m5x for t c equals to 3 you will get this generator polynomial. So multiplying all the three terms, all the three minimal polynomials. Okay. So see m1x I have shown you here, m1x will be x raised to 4 plus x plus 1 according to the table as alpha is equal to x raised to 4 plus x plus 1 for alpha raised to 3 that is m3 of x x raised to 4 plus x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 and m5x 5 plus x square plus x plus 1 okay. so multiplying all the three brackets you will get this polynomial if you check the degree 10 that is n minus k so n minus k is equal to 10 okay. so K will be equal to 5. So g of x this will generate 15 comma 5 and n comma k and is 15 k is 5. 15 comma 5 bch code. So thank you. I hope you have understood the procedure to calculate the bch code to find out the generator polynomial. Just note down the steps and just solve the numerical. If you have any problem you may contact me. Thank you.